All right, this is a Honda TRX 250 carburetor job. Uh, this one's a 2013. They all should be pretty much just the same. An older one might have less hoses on it, but uh, it's straightforward. What I'll do, since I only got two hands, I can't really do the work while you watch, but I'm going to take stuff apart, lay it out, and then show it, video it, talk about it, stitch it all together, put it on YouTube, maybe it'll help you out. But they're pretty simple. Take your phone and snap pictures, like take a picture here, 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 here. Just take a lot of pictures. See the rubbers where they go up here? A diaphragm right there on top. See it goes over here to vacuum source. These other two, see, just follow them around, see where they go, what they do. Anyway, I'll get it apart all the way, then I go to it and talk about it. Okay, I just took the bowl off. You can see it's got nice crap on it. This little piece of plastic here is a baffle. It just pulls off. Normally the crap ain't up in the carb. It's just right here. Where you mess up is when they're that dirty and you try to start them. Sometimes it'll suck junk up into the carb. But I wanted to show you this. Uh, ethanol sucks. It's a joke. It makes, no, it makes a lot, less power than gasoline. It takes a lot of money to create. But it pays the farmers, so that's why they're doing it. Uh, I got a new inexpensive carb kit off of, off of eBay here. There's a slow jet, main jet, air screw, float needle valve. Uh, on this particular carb, you can't replace the seat. The seat's pressed into the carburetor body where this float needle goes. So when it wears out, you just buy a new carburetor body. They do that same money manufacturing them. This is a Ken carb. They're good carbs, them and McCoonies. Most of these have a threaded in brass seat and it comes with that seat and this needle. This one doesn't have that. So if it gets to leaking around the, around the seat, then you just throw it away. It's just junk by then. So I'll get it farther apart here. And uh, most times, all you really need on a kit is the float needle seat and the gasket, the float, float bowl gasket. I normally don't use the needle if my needle looks okay, and mine does right here, because there's a possibility this ain't the right needle. So I don't want to create grief when I've got a perfectly good needle right here. So yeah, same with the jets. I normally don't use the jets. I soak these, I'll show you in a bit, and I reuse them. I get the kits for the needle, the seat, the rubber. The rest of it pretty much goes in the parts bin. For when I run across something that has a broke needle or a bent needle or something or needle missing you know yeah I say I flipped my camera around on the my phone on a previous one I look anyway just turn your phone as I go if I turn it <laughs> whatever I wanted to show you give you this tip see that little knurled edge right here where my thumb is got a little teeth on it that pin goes in this way and comes out how I'm doing it here I've got a little baby punch that I made more room on it. It fits right in there and takes them out. Let me sit you down. So, uh, look at it closely when you're when you're tapping this out. You're gonna break this air off and be buying another carburetor body. If you try to knock this out that away, it's got to come out this way. 
little bigger, a little fatter where them teeth are. So, you can see, you can tell by looking at it which end's what. This end where, where my finger's tapping comes out first. And then the floats, and they may be stuck due to the needle being dirty. And this one is. So I don't pull hard, just kind of wiggle at it. Wiggle at it. It ain't wanting to come, so what I'll do, so I don't break the floats and create another problem, I'll put it in my cleaner and I'll show you that in a minute. When you take this main jet out, out the bottom of the carburetor, it's got the main jet, then here, uh, this goes down into the carb. Straight down in the big hole here, you gotta tap it out. Watch for it, cause you'll lose it. That's where the actual needle works like this. The kit comes a new one, but once again, I'll probably use this one. Since these jets are so dirty, this main jet, I'll probably, I'll compare the holes and make sure they're the same size, same thing, and I'll probably put the main jet back in it. Because I don't want to wait on this one to soak in the carb cleaner but just pay attention there's the slow jet or the pilot jet whatever you want to call it then this that end sticks out of the carb there there it is this rounded end is what goes against this piece like that and this is kind of dished out to match it Then the main screws into it. So, onward to the fog. When you're taking these hoses off, new or old, it's far better. I can't do it holding the camera also, but push the screwdriver down right here and twist it. Twist it. Push it off. When you pull it off is when you tear it and cause a lot of problems but just pry them off from the bottom stick that in there and twist it get a little room then you can kind of pry more room you can kind of push or tap and just tap them off then you save your hoses on this intake manifold here you want to take it off seal it you get three bond 1184 or yama bond four that's the only thing worth using. It's badass, it's good, and it works. It's good for oil or gas. If you do a carb job, you're in a pinch, and the gasket's leaking here, that float bowl gasket's leaking, you can dry it up, put this on it, and it ain't gonna leak no more. But I've had these brand new leak air, so on, on all kinds of bikes, four wheelers. So you always wanna put a nice liberal amount of this on it, Put it back together when you're bolting it to the head. How are you, how are you going to do it? Just make sure you have this on both sides. That's going to cure a whole lot of problems right off the bat. I ain't lying. And this just richens it. When, you, when you're going at speed, you let off the throttle. You hear bikes backfire. Pop, 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 pop. This richens the mixture. Being too lean is what makes it backfire and everything's lean due to the EPA. So another way they get around making them too lean from the factory, they add this. It adds fuel on deceleration to take away the pop or make it a lot less severe. Motion Pro 08-0229. 90 degree carb tuner, adjuster like for sinking carbs, 
for adjusting air screws. It comes with some tips. One of them is to fit this EPA style air screw here. And when you're looking at it, it's like this. It's just round with a flat spot on it. This fits it. You got to have this to unscrew it. The other end of this goes into that tool. But you turn it, it fits in there. You can screw the old air screw out. Here's the new one. It's got a screwdriver head on it, a better setup. You can tune it. This one has a plug. Most, most all of them, that's, that's what I call. That's what I call the EPA head that's totally useless. And they'll have a brass plug here. Not very thick. That's maybe an eighth inch. I drill to it. Then I screw a dent puller into it. Pull it out. Normally, usually you can just screw it to tighten it. This is just like a regular wood screw. I ground off the tip to make it get bigger sooner. You drill, drill a little hole in here. Just start small if you're unsure about the size. Then you pull it out. Then in this, this one's case, you had, I had to have this special little tool to get it out. You must get this out. This is a whole ball game when one idle or won't idle. They, oh, they won't run with the crap on bottom. This is why. This is, this is a slow circuit, and that's what's always stopped up every time. The slow circuit goes from one of these holes in the back. Past the main here, down here, this hole where my finger's tapping, is the slow jet. Here's the air screw hole we just pulled out. And then the gasoline eventually, finally, comes out this little hole right here. You must be able to spray your cleaner you know, a can with a nozzle on it. In these holes and find one where it wants to come up out of this hole. You, I, I, plug, I plug the slow jet hole or the pilot jet with my finger to watch it come out here. And then I'll, I'll try to plug, you try to plug all three of these best you can and watch it come out here on that little hole. And that's that's about 98% of the whole ball game here. If you get that good and clean, you make sure your slow jet's clean right here. See, I mean that's obviously stopped up. Here's the new one. I can show it to you. And the light. Uh, there you go. There you go. It's a good picture. It's a tiny hole. It takes just a little bit of anything to stop these up. And with this asinine ethanol if you let your bike sit about two months it ain't going to idle why because this is stopped up and ain't getting no fuel once you get everything clean and all together and you're you're running it get it to idle as low as it'll idle and then screwing this fuel air mixture screw out or in get it to where it's idling the smoothest sounding the best that's where you need to be it's usually between one turn and two and a half turns out. And since it's in the front, when you open it up, it lets in more fuel. When you close it, less fuel. Out's richer, in is leaner. If you screw it all the way in, it don't make no difference. Then your slow jet's too rich. If you screw it all the way to like three, three and a half turns out, it don't make no difference. And your slow jet needs to be uh, rich and up. It's too lean. If your slow jet or your pilot jet, whatever you want to call it, this one, if it's in the correct ballpark, you should be able to alter your idle, screw it in to where the motor will die on you, Screw it out to where it'll die or where you can obviously hear it running worse. 
that's when you know your slow jet's the correct jet. If you can screw this in and out and hear an audible difference in your idle. Screwing it in, it'll slow down. Screwing it out, it'll slow down. And some people say, screw it in. Start like on three out, screw it in till the motor starts slowing down. Then slowly screw it out till it's running its best. Then go out about a quarter turn more to simply make it a touch richer. The main thing, don't be afraid of this, just screw it in and out. until you get the best idle with it warmed up and idling as low as it'll idle with your air filter in it, your air box lid on it, everything together. This is jetted to have the air box lid on it. If you take your lid off, you're going to need to go in here and put about a size richer main jet and slow jet in the carburetor. Get you a gallon of this cleaner. Uh, I'm not sure what you're doing, old parts I'll use, but. Put those in there. It tells you 20 minutes on the jar, but. Uh, I try to leave it in there an hour or better. I've already blown to it. To the slow circuit, I know it's clear. But they're kind of like arteries. It can build stuff on the outside and make it not qu run quite as sweet as it should. So I still, I'm about to go eat. So I'll let these sit here in this carb cleaner an hour or two. And that really dirty main jet I'll just I'll just leave it in here and the next time I do a carb I'll take it out it'll look like new and I've got uh, parts over here that I'll just file it in there for later I'll, I'll use the new pieces I have here oh I meant to put these floats in there too it ain't gonna hurt the harder plastic stuff let it sit there about an hour They're nasty here, so I'll turn them over like that, and that ought to clean them up. Pretty sweet in no time. Hour, hour and a half, two hours. Three hours is better, just depending on what you got, time. I would leave rubber parts or plastic overnight, but I've done it. A couple of two or three hours ain't gonna hurt nothing. And the rest of it, you can just leave overnight if you got the time. If you have the time, it's best to leave that carb body in there. Now, some of the some of the carburetors do to what what they're made out of will turn black on you. You leave them in there too long, but I'd leave always try try to always leave it in there an hour. That gives me good results, but you'll see on the dirty on that like that really dirty slow jet, it might take six or eight hours for it to clean up. You just have to see what works best for you.